How's it going? Good, good. I'm good, thank you. Um, I'm Dr. Jazzy. I'm going to be taking care of you today. Okay, so you are here today because you had a concussion, right? Okay. And um, the nurse already took care of you, caught your vitals up to date and everything. And everything looked normal? Okay, good. All right, well, let's just go ahead and jump right into just getting a little more background on the incident. Um, I know we have a few details here in the back, but I just want to make sure that I hear it straight from you, okay? Okay. So what what exactly had happened, and where did you hit yourself? Based off of these charts, which are upside down. Yeah, looks like there was some trauma there. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, that does not sound like a fun time. And how long ago was this? Okay. And what symptoms have you been experiencing? Any nausea, vertigo, things like that? Some vertigo. Okay. And did you see somebody initially when this first happened? You did. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. And when was the last time that you saw a doctor about this? Okay. A month ago. Okay. All right. Well, as I said, your vitals look totally good, but you know, due to the concussion, we just want to make sure that we test all five senses um, by doing a cranial nerve exam. Have you ever had that done before? No. Okay, well, it's, it's nothing to be scared of. It's really actually kind of relaxing. Um, I've always really enjoyed doing them. It's not an invasive procedure at all. We're just going to be testing your uh, smell, your vision, um, some of your motor skills, and your sense of touch, um, amongst a variety of other things. Mm hmm Okay. All right, so we're just going to throw in some gloves here, make sure we're nice and sanitary with everything going on, and it's also kind of our job, but other than that, how have you been doing? Keeping busy? Huh? That's good. Alright. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is just checking your peripheral vision. It's something that can be um, greatly affected by a concussion. So I'm going to have you just go ahead and look straight at my nose. Yep. And I'm going to just wiggle my fingers on different sides, and I want you to just raise your hand on whatever side I am wiggling, just to let me know that you are seeing it, okay? And I'll also be looking directly at your nose. Okay, look straight at my nose. Good. Good. Okay. Perfect. Good. We're gonna go down. Good. And. Mm hmm. Perfect. That's a trick. Good job. one more. Good. Okay. Peripherals look good. Yeah, it can be something that a lot of people are affected by, so I'm glad to see that that's not a problem for you. Alright. Okay, next I'm going to have you follow my finger. Um, but using your eyes only, so I need you to keep your chin completely straight, and if I do find that you start moving it, I am going to just hold your chin taut, okay? 
All right, so keep your chin completely straight. Good. All right. Good. I'm going to come a little closer here. Gonna do the other side. Okay. Good. Okay, now I'm gonna have you just cover one of your eyes. We're gonna do the same thing and then alternate covering the eyes. Okay, so go ahead and cover your right eye for me. Good. And I'm gonna hold your chin here. And you're just moving just a little bit before. Coming back, keep following, good, and let's go ahead and cover that left eye, holding your chin taut, and follow my finger, you've been doing great, okay, one more time going back, okay, good, looks good to me. Go ahead and check your vision on your eyesight and just make sure we don't need to possibly upgrade your lens due to the concussion because you do wear glasses, correct? You do. That's what I thought. Um, so we're just going to go through and we're going to read it line by line and I want you to read every letter, okay? And I'm just going to follow through with my pen and you just repeat what you see. Good. Okay, let's get started. Mm-hmm. Good. Good job. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Okay. Moving on to the next line here. Good job. Good. Okay. Perfect. Good. Struggling with that one? Oh, no, that's D. Okay, no worries, we'll just take note. This next one? Good job. Do you want to try for this bottom line? All right, good. I love it. What a sport. Okay, this will be the last one. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Last one. Good job. Okay, good. So besides that letter, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, definitely could have been worse, but, um, I do want to just go ahead and check for an astigmatism, um, so we can figure out if there is possibly just one eye that's struggling to pick up that letter. Okay, so go ahead and cover the right eye, and instead of doing these top three rows, we're just going to do these bottom three rows. Yep, so go ahead and cover the right eye to start. Okay, go ahead. Um, yeah. Yes. Yes. Good. Yep. Okay. okay, these were great. So let's go ahead and do this trouble line for you here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Good. Mmm, interesting. You got it there. Maybe it's because you knew. Maybe it's because I gave it away. But this seemed good. Let's go ahead and cover the left eye. And I'm going to trick you. We're going to flip the page. 
make sure you don't just know all the letters. Okay. Go ahead and cover your left eye. Yeah. And instead, what we'll do is we'll focus on these three lines. Yeah. Because you were able to read this well with the last. Okay. All right, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mmm, there it is. Okay. So it looks like the right eye has a bit of a Yeah, so you might you might have a slight astigmatism, um, but it's nothing too concerning as of right now. Um, but I would just recommend going and seeing your doctor just to make sure that your vision is completely up to date, okay? Okay. Okay, so for this next part, we're going to uh, test your touch, your sense of touch. So I'm going to be just touching your face with a Q-tip, and I want you to indicate where I touched your face uh, right after. So I'll just do one at a time, nothing too crazy, and then just touch your face there. Good. Good job. Good. Good job. Okay. Okay, one more. Good. Okay, looks good. Next, we're just going to test your overall um, sense of hot and cold. So I'm just going to touch your face with this, and I want you to tell me what it feels like. Or if you can feel anything at all. Okay? Felt cold? Good. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and test the motor function in the fifth cranial nerve. And what I'm going to have you do is try and push your jaw down and I'm going to be resisting it. So you're not obviously going to be able to, but I just want to feel that jaw strength. And then I'm going to have you try bringing it up and I will hold your chin to stop you from bringing it up. Does that make sense? Okay, good. All right, let's go ahead and just grab your jaw here. Go ahead and push down. Good. And then we're going to have you try and bring your jaw up. Good job. Okay, good. That looks good. So now I'm going to have you go ahead and bite down and clench your jaw as hard as you can. I just want to check for overall bulk and strength. Looks good there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and test your jaw jerk reflex. So I'm going to just have you relax your mouth and teeth not touching, just in a fully relaxed position. I'm gonna place my finger just over your chin and I have my reflex hammer and I'm just going to tap. That looks good. And so far, you are already looking like that in, in good shape. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and test motor functions of the seventh cranial nerve. So we're just going to make some silly expressions here, okay? So the first thing I want you to do is squeeze your eyes shut as tight as you can. And I'm just going to feel around. Keep squeezing. Good. Go ahead and raise your eyebrows for me. Good. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna have you puff out your cheeks nice and wide, and I'm gonna try to deflate them, so just keep that air in there. Good, okay. Then go ahead and jut out your lower teeth, like so. Good. Now I just wanna check your overall face for symmetry. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to your hearing now. So we're gonna test your hearing. I'm gonna be wrinkling my gloves, my hands, gloves in one ear. And then I'm gonna cover my mouth and whisper something. And I want you to repeat what I whispered under my breath. Okay, here we go. You ready? Okay. One more? Okay. Good. Okay, great job. Great job. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and activate this tuning fork and I'm gonna place this just behind your ear and I want you to tell me when the ringing from this stops. Once it does, I'm gonna place it another maybe two, three centimeters from your ear and I want you to tell me when the ringing stops that time. Okay? All right, here we go. Good job. Okay, let's do the other side. Mm-hmm. Good. Good, okay, great. Hearing looks all good. <clears throat> Let's just see what else we've got here. I'm going to use this one, one more time, and we're going to just check your overall balance. I'm going to place it right in the middle of your forehead, and I want you to tell me if it sounds louder on one side, okay? All right. Sounds even? Good. Okay, perfect. Let's do smell really quick. This will take like two seconds. And I like to do it at the end so I don't make my patients hungry. Okay, so I'm just going to put this under your nose and I want you to tell me what it smells like, okay? Mint. Good. Got another one here. Coffee. Good job. Okay. Yeah, you are looking healthy as ever. Next, I'm just going to use a tongue depressor, and I want you to just go ah and e for me, okay? So go ahead and open your mouth. Okay, I'm going to place this just down on your tongue. And go ahead. Good, and now do e. Good, okay. okay. Now, we don't really need to check your ears because your hearing does sound good, but I just want to double check and make sure we're not seeing any inflammation um, that I might be missing, okay? So I'm going to just go around here and... Okay, looks good. Okay, looks good. And... Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, the very last thing we're going to do is we're just going to test your shoulder resistance and then you will be all set, you'll be good to go, okay? So what I'm going to have you do is I want you to just raise your shoulders as high as you can. I'm going to be putting some resistance with my hands, okay? You ready? Okay, good. Three, two, one. Good. Good job. Okay. Well... It was a pleasure seeing you. You are looking like you're recovering great. I'm not immediately concerned. As I said, the only thing I would really love to see you do is go and see your eye doctor um, and just make sure your eye prescription is completely up to date. Did you need any refills of any prescriptions before I take off? No? Okay. All right. Well, hey, it was great seeing you. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you should have my email ready and available for you. Yeah, and so when you're done, you can just change out of your scrubs, go through the store over here, and you'll meet the nurse um, in the reschedule area. Great. All right. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Have a good one.